talk show the one where we talk to people about stuff we have some very special guests with us today Jay Gadsby Jordan Baker and Nick whatever his last name is first let's welcome Jay Gadsby <laughs> hello old sports Hello, Mr. Gatsby. How are you doing this morning? Not bad. Not bad at all. So, Mr. Gatsby, we just have a few questions for you. All right. Our first question for you is about your extravagant parties. How many oranges do you think you use a day? Oh, I don't know, old sport. Probably upwards of 3,000. Well... I guess many guests calls for many oranges. Yeah, I guess so. Where do you come up with the money for all those oranges? Um, uh, is there a Daisy Buchanan in attendance today? That brings up my next question, Mr. Gatsby. Why are you such a creepy stalker? What? what? That's all we have for you today, Mr. Gatsby. All right. Our next guest for today is the sports icon, Jordan Baker. Ah. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. Jordan, welcome back to the show. I seem to recall you were here earlier this year, correct? Indeed I was. I brought the whole golf ball placement fiasco. Ah, yes, that's right. Well, Jordan, we have a few questions for you concerning your recent appearances with that no-name kid from West Egg. What's his name again? Nick. 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 Oh, yes. Nick. He's such a gentleman. Isn't he kind of poor? Indeed he is. It's a pity, really, but I don't mind. He's such a good and kind man. So where did you meet this Nick? Well, I was introduced to him by my good friend Daisy Buchanan. I believe she's in attendance today. She is? But me! with that man he's so strange yeah nobody really knows anything about him I've been trying my darndest but I just can't figure anything out well thank you for coming today Jordan thank you for having me <laughs> oh goodbye Jordan our final guest for today is N Nick N Nick Hello, everyone. Hello, Nick. We just have a, a couple questions for you today concerning your neighbor, Jay Gatsby. Yeah, okay. What does he do for a living? Pfft, I have no idea. He hasn't told me. Well, aren't you two friends? Yes, indeed, old sport. Eh, kinda, I guess. Hmm, okay. Well, anyway, do you know anything about his past? Where did he come from? What was his education like? Well, I know he went into the war, and I know he went to Oxford. I don't know how truthful he is, but I like to believe he's telling the truth. Uh, anyway, 
He used to hang out with this guy named Dan Cody. He was super rich. He's dead now, but um, when he was alive, they used to boat around the world together. So, yeah, I don't know. That's, I, I don't know. You're pretty close with him, then. He's been pretty weird lately. Yeah. What's up with him? I don't know. He's been really obsessed with this green light lately. Huh. That's very interesting. I think there's a deeper meaning there. Like how he has the whole world already, but his American dream is still not finished. A piece of his puzzle is not complete. He's so close to completing his dream and that green light. That final piece is all he needs to get there. And he's fixated on it, and he'll do anything to get it. Oh, I'm um, sure. Yeah. All right, then. We have one more question. This one's for you. What do you have to say about your relationship with Jordan Baker? Um, it's good. I don't really know what you want to hear. All right, Nick, that's all we have for you today. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, Clarence, that wraps up our guest for today. Indeed it does, Beverly. Make sure you come back next week to hear the governor of New York talk about the future of the Valley of Ashes. Goodbye, Long Island, and we'll see you next time. So you dream of once in a